Hi, this is Connor from the Los Alamitos Recreation and Community Services Department. In this video, we're going to talk about golf, more specifically how to hold your club, how to take a swing, and how to putt. But first, we're going to talk about safety. If you're outdoors, you want to make sure that when you're swinging, there's nobody around you and that you're in an open space to where you're not hitting any objects or people that may be close to you. If you're inside, same thing, you want to move any objects that could be damaged out of the way. You want to make sure family members are nowhere near you uh, when you're taking your swing so you don't injure or hurt them. So the first thing we're going to go over is the grip. The first grip we're going to talk about is the baseball grip. For baseball grip, your hands are going to be just like how you would hold a baseball bat. Your fingers and your knuckles lined up just like this with your thumb going over your fingers just like that. The second grip is the interlock grip. For the interlock grip, you're going to take your pinky and put it in between your index finger and your middle finger of your bottom hand just like this while your thumb right here of your bottom hand goes underneath your fingers just like that. And then for the overlap grip, the last one, it's the same thing as the interlock grip except you're going to take your index finger right here and put it underneath your pinky finger while your uh, pinky finger overlaps it. Once you guys got your grip down, you guys are ready to take your swing. So how you want to stand, your stance during your swing is, you want to bend your knees just like this, you want to have your back straight, you want to have your eyes on the ball and your feet your shoulder width apart, just like that. You want to start off with kind of a half swing if you're a beginner at this, just to get the technique of it down. So get to your stance, get your grip ready to go. Once you're ready and you feel comfortable, you want to take your half swing. For a half swing, we're only going to go from waist to waist. So you're going to go back, waist high, and then follow through waist high. So you're going to take it back just like this. A couple things to remember, keep your head down, eye on the ball the whole time, and you want to keep your arms straight for this. And you're going to go back like this to your waist high, and then follow through to waist high, just like that. Keeping your arms straight and your head down. For a full swing, it gets a little bit more detailed. On a full swing, you're going to start off just the same in your stance. You're going to take your club back, bringing your weight back with you so you can get the most power you can behind the ball. So bring your weight back, keeping this front arm straight. This back arm is going to have to bend because you're going as far back as you can. So front arm straight, this top arm is bending like that. Your head is still down. Once you start coming through, you bring your weight forward to your front foot so the power can transfer to the ball. Once you hit the ball, you want to turn your hips this way and you want to follow through towards your target just like that. Next, we're going to talk about putting. For putting, your stance and your grip are going to be pretty much the same as you had it on your swing. So you're going to bend your knees, foot with apart, same grip, head over the ball just like this. And then your swing is going to be kind of like your half swing. You're not going to be going quite as far back. Um, but it is kind of the same concept. You want to keep your head down over the ball and your arms are straight. You're going to take your club back and then bring it forward and follow through, just like that. Your arms are going to be kind of moving like a pendulum or like a grandfather clock, just like this. It, you, your backswing should be just as long as your uh, follow through. So the last thing we're going to talk about is a fun game you can play inside your house to practice your putting. Right here around me, I got my course that I set up with just things that I'm using around here. I have a chair to putt underneath. I have a, uh, some cones set up as my boundary, kind of for my course. And then I have a cup to use as my hole. Um, so be creative, use your imagination, use things around your house, and uh, just have fun with it. <laughs> 